Joe Hart. I first came to be a goalkeeper early on. I uh, played all positions. You know, I just love playing football, but my friend suggested that you know, I like to roll around in the mud and dive around like an idiot, so he, he told me to go in goal. And, um, it was one of the positions that I went in, but I, I kind of played every position, but it was the one I was always the best at. Uh, my relationship with other goalkeepers is, you know, I, I personally feel, obviously I can't speak for them, but we, we get on really well. There's a lot of respect between the three of us that work together and also the goalkeeper coach. Uh, we all appreciate that we play for the same team, we're working together as a unit and, um, you know, whoever happens to be in goal, the other, the other two keepers and the goalkeeper coach supports them and, you know, we've always tried to work to that. A uh, typical session is myself, Willie, um, Richard and Javi, we go off. We usually have about 20 to 25 minutes together warming up. Um, we, we tend to go slowly first of all, doing lots of hand, handling, getting used to the football and then, you know, Javi will have an idea depending on who we're playing, what kind of attacks um, you know, the team are most likely to do and what sort of positions we need to be strong in. Naismith denied by the fingertips. Of Joe Hart. On a daily basis, you know, the main challenges are, you know, trying to trying to improve. You know, I've, I've been at playing at a high level for a long time now, and you know, I'm in in amongst some really good players, and you know, I've obviously got some great goalkeepers challenging my spot. So, you know, the greatest challenge probably is, is remaining focused and staying at the, the highest level I can, and, and ultimately being right for the game. I like to train how I play, but um, you know I'm, I'm not going to claim to be a robot. Sometimes my levels do drop in training, and uh, you know that's something. That's why it's great to have a good coach like Xavi around me. Um, you know, like, I think all the lads have a have a day where it's not their day, but you know I like I like that to be as far away from a game as possible. And you know I think the preparing for a game comes in really strongly with two two three ga two three days to go. People scoring past me in training really frustrates me because um, with the quality we've got at this team, uh, people can make it look very silly. We've got some really intelligent strikers and you know it's a real art striking and, and, and if I'm not on my game then they find it very easy to score and that frustrates me but you know at the same time that drives me on so when I have good days it feels good. Trust is really important for a, for a goalkeeper and his goalkeeper coach. Um, it's something that you have definitely have to build. Um, you know, we've all got different styles and different techniques. You know, and I, and I can speak um, personally. When when Xavi came in, he had different ideas that I, I probably wasn't open to. But um, you know, I learned pretty quickly that that was the wrong way to go about it because he was trying to improve me as a keeper. And now we've we've got a great relationship. I see things from a different point of view and. Um, you know, he sees, he sees things from a different point of view as well and I think as a combination we're getting on really well. Obviously with, with tough um, physical duels and things like that in my position, uh, you need to really, you need to be brave. But um, you know, I've always, I've always thought and it's something that I've kind of grown up learning from playing, you know, uh, usually playing with kids older than me and stuff like that. that um, the harder you go in, the less likely you are to get hurt. So fully committed is, is probably the best way. I think you've got to be brave and you've, you've, all, you've got to believe in yourself because, you know, football's a really tough world. You know, as, as, as much of a helping hand you're going to get at the start, once, you, once you've got yourself to a certain position, it's, it's down to you to hold it down. My advice to any young keeper aspiring to be, you know, at a really top level is, uh, first of all, be in goal because you want to be there. It's definitely um, a position that you need to love because there's plenty of plenty of bad that comes with the good. So you know that that undying love helps. Um, and just believe in yourself. Get stuck in and, and, and make the most of whatever talent you've got.